I want to be your girl right now. You are the place, my only home. Yeah, just like the flowers in the wind fall with me over and over again. Well, I'm badly bleeding, a bit into that ground. But it's never time we Hey everyone, Meteor Turtle here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Tales of Arise. I've been really wanting to play a uh, just a classic RPG lately, and I've had this one sitting around in my collection for a while, so we are going to try it out and see how it is. Just some exceptions here. Uh, voice selection, I wonder what that is. Download shop. No, thank you. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, we'll do normal difficulty input queuing. Uh, okay, adjust the queuing time. I don't know what that is. We'll leave it standard. I'm going to turn vibration off. I do not like vibration. Uh, yeah, I like fixed. Indicate story. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, those are fine. Subtitles, yes, we do want subtitles. I think I want to keep those the same. So camera speed, all that, that's, that's fine. Uh, well, at least it should be. Let's turn music off. And all of that will keep the same. Brightness adjustment, that's all fine. Okay, so all the rest of the, all the rest of the settings look fine. So let's go ahead and start the game. Well, uh, yes. In ages long past, it was believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Hmm. Oh, how wrong we were. It's In the cool face shot. of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts known as Zoogles, the prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsef, 
Lord of the Fire Master Corps. Okay, Fire Master Corps. Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. This place sounds fun. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. What's this? Okay. <laughs> well, not the title makes sense. Time to rise up. Man, this place is awesome. Oh, that's pretty. A nice view. What's that thing on his hand? Pushing? Put them back into it embedded. Embedded. That must be what that thing on his hand is. <gasps> Look at that. Iron mask. Took the hit for him. Why you? Let How me... does he see? Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All right, with. third squad! Time to regroup! <laughs> Go on, get moving! Hey, wait for me! Thank you, Iron Mask. That's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you... you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Okay. Pretty. Yeah, I like that view. It's pretty awesome. You can see all the... That seems dangerous. <laughs> Having that big a planet that close to wherever we are, our planet. No loitering. All right, I got gotcha. you. So, all right, hold on. Let me turn around. Can I run? I nope. doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. Can't run. What's up, Doc? Ah, uh, you again. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. What will we do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. Good point. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danons are always dying, and the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? I have a feeling we're about to. Don't worry. 
Just keep your voice it. down, will you? Where'd he get the mask from, anyway? <sighs> if only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. <sighs> there. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that, but I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young, and you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. <laughs> you do kind of stand go back out. To my room. Back to your room? Don't you have, like, work to do? Hey, what's up, bro? Why don't I stick these weird stones on our bodies and then work us to the bone until we're dead? Bright eyes, who are they? As if the routine beatings from them weren't enough when they're in a really bad mood, they like to sick their, what do they call them, zoogles on us? I'm a slave, just like everyone else here. I don't know, so I get the feeling we're something more. Core. Or <laughs> face, or memories for that matter. Yeah, what is a spirit core? They're not moving. Damn it. I'm not right. worrying about it, it'll change anything. Hello. Nevertheless, one of you embedded will die, and then we can do whatever we want with you. Now burn! Alright. Uh, I guess I see what he's up to. Hey, look, it's one of the Zoogles. Uh, yeah. You look pretty scary, so I'm just gonna kill this guy. Are you gonna eat him? No? Not yet? Okay. Get to bed, embedded, now. Alright, um, I guess I cannot go that way. Oh, that's a cool sword. Half of them have these, like, stick weapons, and then some of them have, like, that's a really cool looking sword. I hope I get one of those. What you gotta say? Listen, whatever the bastards do to you, don't even think about trying to fight against, back against them, Bright Eyes. Got it. I know, I know. Not like any of us have a chance in hell of ever beating one of those soldiers or their zoogles, let alone Lord Balsif. Balsif. Shh. Don't talk about this in public, you two. Who knows what they'll do if they hear you guys. Uh huh. Oh, dash. I should get some rest. Sup, bro? <laughs> How you doing? Gonna get past you? Do I have to go in here? Ah, this is where I'm going. Rest. Sure. Why not? I wonder how many people have slept in this bed before me. Mine for now, but is that a for brick for a pillow? Holy heck! Come Tomorrow's on, man. Another day. I guess I should get some shut eye. How bad can your life be that they give you a brick for a pillow? That's that's rough. That's a little too much. I'd better head to work. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. I do not know what you mean. Great. Time to start another day toiling away for the Renans. Am I gonna do this until the day I die? Something tells me no. No, you won't. Oh, look at that. It's, where's the train part, though? Those are just cars. Look lively, slaves. Let's see some work around here. That is way too heavy for these guys to push. Come on. No way. Those little whatchamacallits must have... Oh! It's pulled by Zoogles. <laughs> okay. Alright. That makes sense. 
<gasps> Boom! <laughs> the resistance strikes again. Grenar! What? That's weird. Zephyr, she's here. Whoa. That dude is super strong. <laughs> the hell? Guess you shouldn't have touched her. She doesn't like being touched. She didn't like anybody. The girl's nowhere to be found. Man, this hurts. Hey, Bennett, did you find anything? Not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? <laughs> <gasps> there she is. Hey, you're... Is her hair pink or white? It's hard to tell. It depends on what the light Over that there. hits it. Go now! Uh huh? Hurry, get moving! Pink. Stay uh -oh. still. You cost us a lot of trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way or not. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Run! And now, it, instead of being run that way, it's got the little... I forget, I don't know what you call those things. <laughs> the little up and down rail car things. Wow, this thing is really moving. With just a... Piece of metal, scrap piece of metal. Oh, looks like we got some company. What? Oh, dang it. This guy's got the moves. Look at that. Little matrix. <laughs> All right, Neo, calm down. <laughs> like one of my favorite type of RPG characters. Just the brawny guy. <laughs> I guess I'm just completely trusting him. <gasps> Bad move, buddy. Does not like being touched. Hope you can jump. Huh? Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 cool. That was awesome. <laughs> A little steamy. Oh, here's Lord you all Balls. You miss your chance to become Lord. Which means you lot live and die for me, the mighty Balsaf! Got that through your skulls? Now hurry up and bring me Shion! Yes, sir! Shion, that must be the girl's name. Hmm. Even the drink's lost its appeal. 
That's Someone's just never true. Mood. Lord Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabelt Valkyris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. It reminds me of an orc. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. <laughs> Grimace is a lot. Is he gonna crush it? Yeah. <laughs> Called it. Is that our name? Alfin? Where? You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the resistance for the Danon people. Mm. We get in the way of the Bright Eyes' best laid plans. The Danon resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. Because you're that ugly. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. They're interrogating her? Just what the hell is going on? <laughs> I need to go and find out for myself. All right, that seems like a good place to end the first episode here. Uh, pretty interesting so far. I'm, I'm really digging it. It's got uh, it's got some potential, so we'll see. Until next time, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.